Good morning, it is March 11th, Monday. We are about to go on a little adventure. Got the camera, got the longboard, and then also see if we can't find a cool place to take Sawyer for a walk. Say hi, guys. Hi. Sawyer's not really in a good mood right now. So, all right, let's get to it. All right, so we're headed over to Woodman Fen Park. I've never been there. Amanda, you've never been there. So we'll see, uh, we'll see what it's like. Let's see what's going on. So we're back there digging to China. Hmm? So. Haircut. What? Haircut. Haircut, oh yes, you got a haircut. <laughs> that was like two weeks ago, buddy. Haircut. So yesterday we had, um, Yep, I see your haircut. So yesterday we had, I mentioned that we had two offers, well one offer and one, another offer coming in. Um, the second offer that just came in this morning, um, uh, it's kind of an insult. <laughs> it feels not, that way. Not really much of an offer, it was $20,000 $20, underneath our asking price. Right, um, which, you know, discuss it with my mom who's a realtor. There you go. Um, <clears throat> There are some older, you know, they may be saying, okay, well, we're going to have to replace this, this, and this, because there's some older mechanicals. And there's a little on the older side. It's still not bad, though. Um, but that's why they may be getting that money taken off there, because they're that's how much they're planning on spending to fix it. upgrade things. Yeah. And not necessarily fix, because nothing's broken at this point. Everything's right. in working condition. Right. Um, but just some things are a little bit older, and so that may be what they're figuring in, the, their expenses to... Um, do those upgrades yeah but still we can't we can't afford to sell the house at that rate and let alone pay for anything that they would like updated like right. roof or driveway well that's or... where they're taking that money off obviously. right but like how many how many people would be like hey we're gonna we're gonna ask for we're gonna offer this right. and then after inspections go out oh looks like you need a new roof so go ahead and you know either fix that or give us money for that it's like well no like the 20 grand <laughs> right the 20 grand that you down you know undercut us right and the, is more than enough to cover that and the thing is is that, you know taking that off the taking that full amount off of the price isn't necessarily um we shouldn't be paying for their entire roof i mean we're paying for their roof like right maybe half like yeah half of that and going someplace in the middle but uh, yeah i yeah. So then the other offer, so then the other offer that we had was uh, the one that came in first. Still kind of undercut us a little bit, but we countered that with something, and we're hoping to hear back. They have until nine o'clock tonight. Yep, they've got got till nine o'clock tonight. So, and this was the one that wanted to close February, or not February, April fifth or April fifteenth, right? Yeah. Uh, they wanted April twelfth. April. Yeah, they wanted us out by April fifteenth, and so that's like literally right around the corner. So we'll we'll see. Hopefully, I mean, I'm I'm not expecting anything since, since they they lowballed it so much, but we'll see. You never know. Again, another you know, if we if we if we were to take an offer that low, we wouldn't be able to a we wouldn't be able to afford the house we want to move into, and b they, we wouldn't be able to do anything for them at inspections or anything like that.
All right, guys. So we're gonna go ahead and end the vlog for today. Hope you had a great day. Got some good news on the house. Uh, we accepted an offer uh, to sell our house, which is fantastic. Um, we're not out of the woods yet. Uh, we still have um, uh, inspections to go through and things like that. So hopefully, fingers crossed, those go as according as planned. Um, and then we have to buy a house. So uh, we've got a, we had two that we were trying to go back and forth on between my wife and I, um, which one of them um, went sale pending this evening. So we're gonna go see, uh, we've got three houses, well, we've got five houses, uh, three of which we're gonna see tomorrow. One of them we're gonna see uh, again for the second time, just to kind of get a closer look at it. That's the one that I'm, that I'm most interested in. Um, and then two others, one is in Kettering, the other one is in Miamisburg. So we're kind of going all over the place. And then we, on Wednesday, we got, we got set up for another showing um, in the, uh, I believe it's Kettering area, I think. Um, so we've got some options. Uh, I'm leaning towards the Inglewood property um, just because it's the most move-in ready. Um, it's uh, about the same space that we've got right now. Um, it's just uh, just looking, it just fills a couple of those check boxes that we don't have in this house, i.e. more than one bathroom, uh, dedicated um, office area that's not a corner in the basement. Um, actually, we'll have an office room that's uh, able to be blocked off from the rest of the house so I can, we can do uh, podcasts, um, I can work on my uh, videography stuff, um, there's probably going to be some type of entertainment stuff out there, but, uh, at the end of the day, um, the kitchen's way better. Uh, the kitchen's, uh, you know, still the, the galley kitchen, but it's more, more like the condo that Amanda used to have where the end of it was open and it looks into the dining room, into the living room and all that stuff. So, um, uh, yeah, the, the room sizes were actually pretty good. Um, the master bedroom had a master bath, which, you know, is, I think, uh, there was one other one that we saw that had a master bathroom, um, but this one, uh, had, um, uh, had his and her closets. The closet space was really big. It's another contention point for me. So, uh, I'm looking forward to going through them again, but, you know, first step is done. We got an offer on the house. We accepted the offer and now we just move on to phase two. So hopefully it works out. Um, we had a lot of fun today. We, uh, I got to go, uh, hang out with one of my buddies, uh, used to work with, um, Nick had some fun, played some magic, watched some anime, stuff like that. Felt pretty good to kind of just relax and, you know, hang out with him. I don't, I see him probably like once a month. Uh, the other thing that happened, uh, was I got, um, Amanda, um, talked with her client, had a conversation with her client who she feels, she feels really hopeful on that. That would be a vid videography and a photography gig. And then I also talked to a new potential client today, um, who was looking, she was asking, I had sent over a, my contract. She was going to take it to work tomorrow, have it signed and then sent back here. Uh, she asked for an invoice. I don't normally send invoices without having the contract back signed. Uh, but for this one, I felt like it was necessary. She sounded like she had a game plan. Uh, we had a really, really good connection and conversation over the phone. Um, so I feel pretty confident about it. So I'll go ahead and send that over. And then um, I've got another bride that requested an invoice as well today. So that's two brides booked today. I'm really excited about it. That brings me up to nine, um, nine or 10. Uh, no, that actually might be 10 for the month or for the, for this year. Um, that doesn't count the couple I have for 2020, but so that bring, I think that brings me up to 10. So, uh, my goal was 16, uh, somewhere between 16 and 20 this year. So getting pretty close, um, still have a ways to go. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's first quarter is almost over. So there's only, there's only so much time left to uh, book those last you know, six or seven clients. So um, we'll see what we can do. Um, maybe we'll look into uh, some tips for getting those last minute, uh, last minute bookings. So anyway, all right, guys, I really do appreciate you watching. Hope you enjoy the content um, and uh, have a great day. We'll see you guys tomorrow.